welcome to another video. Today I'm doing my first wrap up from my first official TBR that I set myself and stuff. So um, we're going to see how I got on with my TBR and set one for February I suppose. So yeah, this is my January wrap up and February TBR. So I didn't set myself an enormous goal, I think, yeah, I only set myself three books and three graphic novels, yeah. Two of which at the time I had already read, two of the graphic novels, and then the three books. So not an exceptional goal, but a good start, I suppose, and um, let's see how I got on with that. So I'll start off with the graphic novels, because I already said I'd read two of those. So I read Saga Volume 2, Saga Volume 3, and Saga Volume 4. I did say in my um, TBR that Volume 4 hadn't arrived yet, and if it did I would read it, and it did turn up, and I did read it, so yay. Um, I now only have two more sagas left to read before I'm up to date, so I'm excited about that. Um, these are super quick to read, and I absolutely love them, and I have to thank G for that because she sent me the first one for Christmas, and now I've nearly read them all, so <laughs> thank you for that. As I say, they're super quick to read, and I've been really enjoying them. To be honest with you, I now cannot really remember what happened in Volume 2 or Volume 3 because it feels like I read them such a long time ago now. But um, Volume 4 is where an unlikely alliance has been formed. If you've read these, then I suppose you'll know what I mean, but I'm excited to keep going because at this very last bit that I'm at now, like the last page, an unlikely alliance has been formed. The next book that I cracked on with in January and the first like book book that I read in 2017 was Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. Um, when I did my TBR, I was already like 100 pages in or something, and I did finish this pretty soon after that, and absolutely loved it. I have done a book talk on it, so I say a book talk, a book babble. I don't really do coherent book talks, it's just rambling. Um, so I have done a book babble on it if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But again, really really enjoyed this i did give it a four star rating out of five stars just minusing a star for slight predictability and it didn't like blow me away like out of this world but i did thoroughly enjoy it and would recommend it so that's kind of how i would give four stars to something i really liked it i did then go and buy the second one I haven't read that yet but i am excited to continue with the trilogy i won't talk too much more about like my opinions and stuff on it because that's all in the book about all but I really enjoyed it. Four stars, which is pretty good for me, I think. It wasn't like a quick, quick read, but it didn't take me too long to fly through it. I really like some of the characters, really like the story, really like where it's going, and I have some questions that I want to be discovered in book two. I'm excited to see how things are gonna like pan out. The second book of my month, but technically my fifth read of the month, was The Long Awaited Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I think I had very high expectations for this book because I've already read um, A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury. So I think because I had that like knowledge of the capabilities of Sarah J Maas, I was kind of expecting a bit more of this. But then I also had to consider the fact that this was written such a long time prior to those. So there was a difference in the writing but that being said, I still really enjoyed it and I will be continuing with the series. I did thoroughly enjoy the storyline. I had a few issues with a few of the characters. If you want to hear about that, then I do have a book babble up on this as well, which I will also link down below. But I did really enjoy it and I have heard that this series gets better the further along you go. So I am really looking forward to continuing with it. From people I've spoken to, the second one is even a great leap from the first one. So there's that to look forward to, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy the story. Go watch my book babble if you want more opinions on it. After that, I'm not really sure what happened. I was supposed to start The Raven Boys after that, but that didn't happen. So we'll get back to that in a minute. But I went into Waterstones and picked up a book that I started reading immediately 
which very rarely happens because I kind of set things like the books that I bought a long time ago I need to read first or I don't know but I rarely buy a book and then like start it immediately but because I hadn't yet started Raven Boys and I had just finished Throne of Glass I started it and that is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson um, this is a graphic novel but substantially larger than um, the saga ones this was brilliant I don't have a book babble on it at the moment but I do plan on doing one so keep your eyes peeled for that but I thoroughly enjoyed this it potentially could have been a quicker read than it was but I was kind of trying to prolong it because I didn't want it to be over because I was enjoying it so much so I was kind of forcing myself to take it slow rather than just gobble the whole thing up in one go which I very easily could have done because it's so fast paced easy to read fun and funny so it took me longer than necessary to read it because I wanted to savour the fun I was having with it I don't want to talk too much about it here because I am going to do a book babble on it but pretty much thumbs up I think I gave it five stars it was just really enjoyable I don't I can't fault it like it was fun and funny and I really enjoyed it and if you haven't read it I would really recommend reading it and the illustrations on it are absolutely adorable the characters are lovable so yeah that was my one two three four five sixth book of the month and the last book that I finished this month then I did pick up the Raven Boys and I'm only 104 pages into it at the minute but I have a little bit of time left by the time I'm filming this I still have a couple of days I don't think I'm gonna finish it to be honest so the end of it or the last half of it will probably roll over into February but I have started it it is the book I'm currently reading and probably will still currently be reading by the time this goes up but it is one I that dog does not shut up but it is one I started in January and I will finish hopefully sometime soon um, I don't really want to say too much about my opinions at the minute because I'm only 100 pages in so yeah we'll just roll this one over onto my February TBR even though I've already started it but you know I haven't finished it and I don't think I'll finish it this month because there's only like a couple of days left so that I suppose starts my February TBR I'm gonna finish the Raven Boys first in February when I have finished the Raven Boys though I think the next book I will go on to will probably be one of two I'm gonna go with this one though because I think this one is the one I'm gonna be drawn to first I'm not sure why though this could go either way one of the next books that I will pick up in February will be Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas second book in the Throne of Glass series and I'm excited to keep going with that series so hopefully this one will kind of pick it up a bit from the first one hopefully I'll enjoy it that a little bit more I mean as I said I did enjoy the story but I did have some issues hopefully this one will make some progression with those issues that I had I've heard that this one is a lot better than the first one so there is that to look forward to I mean it's shorter than the first one so shouldn't take me too long to read it the next book that I plan on reading in February will be Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rush because again it's the second one in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy and I'm excited to keep going with that as well this one however is substantially larger so it will probably take me a little bit longer to read will that dog please stop barking but I'm excited to continue with this world as well there's a lot I want to know I really did enjoy the first one so yeah I think I'm gonna really enjoy the second one as well also this month as I've only got two sagas left to go I'm gonna try and finish that up as well so I've got volume five and volume six to go through again super quick shouldn't take me too long to get through these at all and then I'll be all up to date and be able to wait for volume seven with everyone else I have been enjoying all of the other ones so I anticipate I will enjoy these as well I'm kind of tempted to just leave it at that for February I mean I know it's only two books and two graphic novels other than that I don't know what I will pick up next I mean if I finish these and obviously finish the Raven Boys as well part of me might be tempted to go for the next book in the Throne of Glass series I might be tempted to pick up the next book in the Snow Like Ashes series I don't know so I am just gonna leave it at those four as a set TBR but if I finish them then it'll probably be one of the next two here so it'll either be the last book in the Snow Like Ashes trilogy or I think the Assassin's Blade is next in publication order for the Throne of Glass so it might be that one I don't know though we will see what happens there but I think I am just gonna leave it with those I think I've done quite well I'm not entirely disappointed I would have liked to have been further along with the Raven Boys or possibly finished but you know life happens 
I read Nimona, which is a bonus that I wasn't planning on reading. Maybe if I absolutely just crack down for the rest of today, I might get further than I think, and I might finish it before the end of the month, but I'm not holding out for that to happen because I feel like I would be rushing it then, and I don't want to do that. You will probably notice that I haven't mentioned anything about reading the second one of this yet. It's because I don't have it. I do plan on getting it, but I don't have it at the minute, so I can't read it. Oh well. So yeah, that is it for my January wrap up and February TBR. I apologize for the repeated dog barking in this video. She doesn't know when to shut up ever. I did go downstairs and ask her politely to be quiet, but she doesn't listen to me. So sorry about the dog barking. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Chat to me down in the comments. And if you fancy subscribing, I'm always eternally grateful for that. And I guess I will see you next time with whatever else it is I am doing. Bye!